A new study says kids' highs from drugs are not coming from where you might think. There's an increasing amount of North Carolina teenagers turning to and abusing prescription drugs. News 13's Julie Wonder has the story. It's a startling statistic. According to the Partnership for a Drug-Free North Carolina, one in ten teens is abusing prescription painkillers. And if we don't deal with it and address it soon and hard, that we're going to have more and more kids dying. Uh, more and more adults dying from accidental overdose. Swain Recovery Center Director Tom Britton sees the growth in prescription drug abuse firsthand. They can go in their parents' cabinets and take five or six pills without being noticed. And then they go to their friends and everybody has five or six pills and they're having parties with them. And the scary thing is that Obviously, they don't really know what they are, they don't know how they interact with each other, and they might take three or four different pills. He says the availability of the pills is making it easier for kids and adults to abuse them. The Partnership for a Drug-Free North Carolina says prescription overdose is now the second leading cause of unintentional death, second only to motorcycle accidents. Medicine chomp pharmacist John Buff has also seen the problem. Too many people, I guess, assume that it's safe to leave the medicines out, and um, there's been a, a large increase in abuse of parents' medicines by children's, and even by children's abuse of their brother's and sister's medicines. So I think it's important that the parents just keep them locked up or in a safe place where the children don't have access to them. And that may be the first step in addressing the growing and dangerous problem. Julie Wonder, News 13. A group of advocates is forming.